Today we're talking about AI. <sighs> no, 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 this is different. We're diving deeper into the term and it won't take longer than five minutes. AI often refers to two main components, natural language processing, or NLP, and large language models, or LLMs. I know, I know, what do these actually mean? Think of it like this. AI is a pretty broad term. In fact, even washing machines are claiming to have AI these days, and honestly, I don't even know what that means. Anyway, AI is made up of these different subsets, like machine learning, computer vision, reinforcement learning, and then of course NLP. All these subsets have different focuses. NLP focuses on improving how computers and humans interact through natural language. It involves a wide range of tasks like language translation, sentiment analysis, and speech recognition. Some ways we use it here is for reviews, gauging if sentiment is positive, negative, or neutral. And then spam filtering to identify unwanted emails by recognizing patterns or specific keywords. Or how about, do you have an iPhone? When you ask Siri a question, Hey Siri, play Cupid Shuffle. That leverages NLP to understand your voice and respond appropriately. Playing Cupid Shuffle by Cupid. What's cool about NLP systems is that they typically use smaller, specialized data sets tailored to a specific task. This makes them very efficient for automating language-based activities, and the results are often predictable. But here's the thing. Predictability is not always what people are looking for today. As AI has advanced, expectations have evolved. People want more than just accurate, straightforward answers. They want something that can think more creatively, offer diverse insights, and feel more like natural conversation. That's where large language models come in, a subset of NLP. LLMs are built to handle a much wider range of tasks without needing specialized training for each one. These models, like ChatGPT or BERT, are trained on massive data sets pulled from a variety of sources. This lets them generate responses that are coherent, contextually relevant, and importantly, more flexible. In other words, LLMs don't just respond with predictable, canned answers. They can generate creative content, assisting with coding and engage in dynamic, open-ended conversations. It's this versatility that opens up a whole new world of possibilities for how we interact with machines. Remember that review example from earlier? Well, LLMs not only can classify those reviews, but they can also draft thoughtful, personalized emails to customers who left a negative review, addressing their concerns and offering solutions. Now, like everything, there's a trade-off. If you ask a very specific technical question, the response might not always be 100% accurate. This happens because the wide array of sources might have some data not fully up to date or aligned with your precise needs. That's why we leverage both. NLPs excel at precision and efficiency through automating daily tasks, while LLMs allow us to interact with it all through conversation and get deeper insight. If you want to learn more about the workings of AI, and I mean beyond the flashy marketing campaigns, like really get into it, reach out to our team. There's so much more to learn.